dear friends good morning let us start today the lesson on straight lines straight lines let us discuss first about the slope of the straight line what is meant by the slope slope is also known as the gradient gradient the slope of the line is defined as if a straight line makes an angle theta if a straight line l makes an angle theta with the x axis in the positive direction then tan theta is defined as the slope and it is represented by m once again if a straight line makes an angle theta with the x axis in the positive direction then tan theta is defined as the slope and it is represented by m slope is also known as gradient here in this theta is called inclination theta is called inclination and the theta is lies between 0 to pi the range of theta is from 0 to pi this is about slope of the straight line and my second point is when the angle is given how to find the slope and what is the definition of the slope i explain similarly if a straight line is passing through if a straight line is passing through two points what will be the slope let us find if a straight line is passing through the point x1 y1 and x2 y2 if a straight line is passing through the points x1 y1 and x2 y2 then slope is y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 so i explain just now two points one is when the inclination is given how to find the slope similarly when the two points through which if the line is passing through if the line is passing through the two point then how, what is the slope these two points i explain similarly if the equation of the straight line is given as ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 if the equation of the straight line is ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 which is known as a general equation of the straight line if the equation of the straight line is given then what is the slope the slope of the straight line is here in this case it is minus a by b that means minus x coefficient by y coefficient so slope in the three cases i explain just let us copy down this let us continue about the slope so if you see the slope of the x axis just now i define what is meant by the slope if a straight line makes an angle theta with the x axis in the positive direction then tan theta is defined as the slope now i want to find the slope of the x axis itself so x axis makes its uh, the angle with its own as here theta as 0 degrees then if you find the slope of the x axis it is tan 0 tan 0 is tan 0 degrees is is 0 that means slope of the x axis is zero similarly if you find slope of the straight line which is parallel to x axis two parallel lines if the lines are parallel then their slope should be same because the angle made by this line and the angle made by the x axis with its surface zero therefore here also in this case also tan 0 is 
zero. Therefore, I can say the slope of the x-axis is zero and the slope of the line which is parallel to x-axis is also zero. Let us see the slope of the y-axis. So y-axis makes an angle 90 degrees with the x-axis. Therefore, here tan 90 because slope is defined as tan theta. Here in the base of theta we have 90 degrees. So tan 90 is infinity which is which is also known as undefined. So slope of the y-axis is undefined. And similarly the lines which are parallel to y-axis that means all vertical lines slope is undefined which we represent by infinity. So here one more understanding is if these two lines are parallel to each other then their slopes are same. So let us take it as a separate point. If the two lines are parallel to each other if you consider their slopes as m1 and m2 then m1 should be equal to m2. This is about the parallel lines. Let us discuss the points once again. If the slope, if this, if the, if the, if, if you want to know the slope of the x-axis, then let us, we have to see what is the angle made by the x-axis its own. The angle made by the x-axis its own is naturally zero degrees. Therefore, tan zero is zero. Therefore, we can say the slope of the x-axis as zero. Similarly, the line which is parallel to x-axis is also, the slope of the line which is parallel to x-axis is also 0. Then, slope of the y-axis. As the y-axis is making 90 degrees with the x-axis, as tan, tan 90 is undefined, the slope of the y-axis, we can say it is also undefined. Similar to this, the slope of the any vertical line is also undefined which is infinity from this understanding we can also say if the two lines are parallel to each other then the slopes are equal similarly if the two lines are perpendicular to each other m1 and m2 if the two lines are perpendicular to each other then the products of the slopes is equal to minus 1. If the two lines are perpendicular to each other, then the products of the slope is equal to minus 1. That's all. So let us see the different forms of the equations of the straight lines. The first form of the equation of the straight line is, let us see the general form of the line. The general form of the straight line is ax plus by plus c is equal to 0. The general form of the straight line is ax plus by plus c is equal to 0. And similarly, if the slope is given as m, and straight line is passing through the point origin then the equation of the straight line is y is equal to mx the equation of the straight line passing through the origin the equation of the straight line passing through the origin and having the slope m is y is equal to mx if the straight line makes an angle if, if, the, if it makes the y-intercept as C and slope as M, if the straight line makes a y-intercept as C and a slope as M, then the equation of the straight line is uh, y is equal to mx plus C. Once again, if the line makes a y-intercept as C and a slope as M, then the equation of the straight line is y is equal to mx plus c. Similarly, 
if a straight line makes x intercept as a and y intercept as b if the x intercept has the distance from origin to the line where it cuts the x axis this distance is a and y intercept if the distance from the origin where it cuts the y axis if this distance is b then the equation of the straight line is x by a plus y by b is equal to 1 simply we can say if x intercept is a and y intercept is b then the equation of the straight line is x by a plus y by b is equal to 1 this is also called as intercept form of a straight line intercept form of straight line my next point is if a straight line is passing through the point x1 y1 and having slope m if a straight line passing through the point x1 y1 and having slope m then the equation of the straight line is y is equal to then the equation of the straight line is y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 the equation of the straight line passing through the point x1 y1 and having slope m is y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 just if you just extend this if a straight line is passing through two points x1 y1 if you take another point x2 y2 then the equation of the straight line is just in the place of m you need to substitute the m slope formula that is uh, y minus y1 is equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 into x minus x1 this is called two point uh, formula and this is called uh, slope and point formula that's all